Hello, this is Danny from CG Dreams, and today I'm going to be doing some 3D modeling. And the purpose of this particular video is to show you how low of a polygon mesh that you can go and how the results are quite good by the time you get to the end of your modeling session. Meaning that you don't have to start off with tons and tons of polygons to make yourself a reasonable image or a model. In this particular case, I'm going to be going for something like this, this little mouse here, to something very simple. And it's a very organic shape here. You've got a round um, kind of sphere head. The body is very round and plumpy. And of course, you've got this disc-like shape for the ears. I just want you to notice how that I'm explaining these different parts of the mouse. I'm explaining them to their real basic forms, the basic forms of what they could be made from, i.e. spheres, discs, etc., or even cylinders. So that's the way you want to look at um, organic objects or even objects that are not organic, like hard surface um, objects. Look at what shapes they resemble so that you can break it down to more simpler forms. So I'm going to put this over to my right screen so that I can just gaze at that every there and again just to keep myself on track. Now I've created just a, a cube and you can see here I've not used many segments at all. I've deleted half of the cube and put it inside a symmetry object so we're working in symmetry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right view and I'm going to start to tweak what we've already got and start to extrude some polygons. I've chosen the lasso selection type because I find it's really nice to quickly whip around areas um, to select polygons, um, vertices and edges. So the first thing I want to do is I want to just select these top polygons here. I'm going to rotate using the R key. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same for the bottom there. I'm using the E key. I'm using the shortcuts because this is what you really want to aim to, to do to be able to get moving a lot quicker. I'm going to extrude using the control key now and I'm just creating a very basic form of a body. And let's give myself a little bit of space on my right screen there. I'm just creating this body in a very, very organic fashion and I'm going to hit the T key and I'm going to scale this down at the top and I'm pretty happy with that. That's grab these vertices here. I'm just rounding out the forms a little bit. That's all I'm doing here. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's all I need, something very basic. I'm going to go into the perspective view. And let's just select this here. I'm going to plump it out a little bit. I'm just using the very basic tools. I'm going to just scale this. You can see it looking more organic now. There are other things you can do like apply the smooth deformer or you can even use these smooth um, sculpting tools if you want to but I'm just keeping things really really simple so that we can get through this in a simple way. So I'm going to go ahead now and just look at this geometry what I've got here and just see where could I possibly grow some legs from and hands and a tail from. Well at the moment there's not really a lot of geometry there so I'm just going to tweak this a little bit more until I feel I'm kind of opening up opportunities for me to be working on different areas. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with that. I 
flatten that off. If you hold down the shift key, you can flatten this right off. And scale this in. I'm going to just make it a little bit more thinner there for the neck area. Right here, I'm going to have the legs grow from it. But before I do that, I'm going to just move this polygon up. What I'm looking at is I'm looking at the top of the leg. Okay, if you were to sort of look at it like this, it's a round shape at the top of the leg. And the vertice that I've just moved is right here. So essentially, I'm creating a little bit of a curvature, even though it's a very blocky model at the moment. This curvature is here that I'm creating. And I'm thinking that this is going to be the top part of my leg. So I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to extrude out. And I'm going to create some space down here so that we can pull the leg from this area. Now, what, what, you, what I want you to get from this is I'm not following any rules. I'm just following a sense of logical workflow, a workflow that feels natural to me. You may find a workflow that's more natural to your style of modeling. So if you find it easier and you get the same results, then use a workflow which is giving you the results in a quicker and easier way. Move that up. This is as basic as you're going to get it. Let's move that in a little bit. Okay, so I'm just doing tweaking. That's all I'm doing. You'll see the results of this in a minute. Let's select these polygons now and we're just going to extrude down. Using the scale, use the scale and you hold down the shift key, you can bring it down to zero and it will be a flat surface like that. It kind of gives you a good place in which you can extrude from and it gives you a better sense of direction where you're going to be going with it. For me, I'm going to scale this in. The legs are going to be kept quite short as in the reference image. I'm going to deviate a little bit from the reference image and just Give it a little bit more geometry there. You notice on the inside here, it's not looking too great. That's no problem. We're just going to select the inside and just put it out. Let's make this a little bit more symmetrical in the way that it looks. That's a bit better. Very, very simple and basic geometry. This is really the most effective way that I've found of working. Let's pull that down. Pull that back a little bit. Let's grab all of these three and then I'm just going to extrude them forwards. And again, remember, I'm not following any rules when I'm doing this. I'm just looking for the most simplest way that I can get the shape that I want from as little polygons as possible. The less polygons you have, the more easier your workflow is going to be. You can add as many polygons as you want later on, but by keeping it simple at this stage, you're doing yourself great favors. You're going to have much more control. I'm going to go to the modeling view and let's just go for a, a slice. I'm going to slice it through there, that'd be quite ideal. Let's just give it another slice. Okay, I'm fine with that. We've got enough geometry, way enough geometry for the feet there. I'll show you what we can do with that. I'm not going to add any toes or anything like that. I want a little bit more shape and form to the torso. So I'm just going to double click there and just pull that forwards. I'm just trying to create a bit more of an S curve going through the figure. I 
Okay, something very, very basic and simple there. So what about the arms? Where can I pull these arms from? Hmm. Do you know what? I'm not even going to pull no arms from that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that there for the minute. I know where I'm going to pull them from, but I'm just going to move away from this for a minute. And I'm going to add a sphere. Hopefully you can guess what this sphere is going to be for. I'm going to increase the radius. The type of sphere that I want to go for is one that doesn't have any poles in really bad places. Typically the standard one will have a pole right at the top. I definitely don't want that. This one would be much more ideal. Again, I'm really, really working on the most simplest forms here to get something done relatively quick. There are many other ways that you can do this, but I'm, today I'm showing you a very, very simple way of doing things. Just trying to show you what you can get away with, how low you can actually go. That is absolutely perfect for what I want. What I'm looking at here is I'm looking at how many polygons is on the bottom part and how many polygons is on the top part where the neck is. This means that I'm going to be able to join that. So I'm going to keep with that and I'm just going to work with this. Now typically if I was working on a project for myself and I wasn't teaching anything I would divert off a little bit and actually use the sculpting tools. But as I said I want to keep this as simple as I can for this video to show you how low of a blocked out model you can go for. We add the polygons later on. So I'm going to go to the back of the skull area. Select these. I just want to expand that out a little bit there. You can use this soft selection if you want also, which is often helpful to have on. And it gives an area of influence outside the selection so that it's more organic when you move it and it enables you to control the overall shape rather than the shape of just the polygons, vertices or wedges that you're moving. And that's, that's quite nice. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to turn off this, this soft selection. Let's just grab the front of here. I'm going to extrude forwards. Make sure I haven't got these back ones selected. Do that again. Extrude forwards. Scale. Okay, that's that's more like it. We're getting a kind of shape that I'm after now. I like to use this tool here that I've got my mouse over it. It's like a brush tool. It's similar to sculpting, but it's kind of not. It's kind of the modeling part of the modeling set. It allows you to go in there and just make some finer adjustments. Or should I say bigger adjustments, not finer? The, the idea of these, these kind of tools is that you can make big adjustments. Now the symmetry has been lost, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'm just looking at the profile shape at the moment and seeing what we can get out of this. Okay. Fine, I'll go with that. U and L, just to loop through the middle there. Delete and then just double click on the rest of that half and delete that. I'm going to chuck this. I'll put it in its own symmetry object. Okay, if you're holding down the Alt key, you can do that. You notice that it's not aligning through the middle here, so it would be nice if you could just turn on these and have a tolerance where you can just dial it in and it pulls it too. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. But what we can do is we can just double click for the edge here. We can press the T key and scale this with the shift held down. And it's generally something I would do like this. 
zero it out. And you notice down here where it says position X, I want to zero that off. Now it's ready to go in the symmetry object. Okay, perfect. That's just move this object I'm just gonna get my tools at the moment you can see here let's move it away just for the minute look under the bottom there I'm just gonna extrude that out Flatten that off. This neck is not going to be as long as this when I've finished. I'm just giving myself something that I can go from and to. Okay. How are we looking? That's that's looking better. What happens if we drag and drop this in the symmetry object below? It looks like we're pretty good, apart from it's removed one side of that. So let's just keep things where they were. I'm pretty happy with the basis of the head at the moment. That's fine. How about the ears? Do you know what? I'm going to keep things really simple for the ears. I'm going to select these four polygons. I'm going to extrude in now. And then I'm going to use that sculpting style tool. I think I'm going to take the years, not from all of these polygons, but just from these two here. Honestly, I'm just making this up as I'm going. Extrude once, extrude again, but big. I'm making this very, very simple geometry. Flattening this off again. Extrude big again. Let's just pull these back a little bit. If you press U and Y, you can expand your selection. There we go, and expanded it again, just moving that back a little bit. And then I'm just going to select these two end here. Extrude again, and then I'm just going to... Now, hoping what you can see here is I'm creating a kind of round shape with this, a disc-style shape. But I'm doing it with such low polygon cage here, it's so easy to manoeuvre and to work with. Select all of these middle polygons. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's select these two end polygons, U and Y a few times, and just select all of these. Like that. I'm going to scale these down a little bit. They're a little bit on the large side. That's okay, I can go with that. Then I'm just going to select all of these middle, middle polygons and then extrude in now. This is going to give me the inside of the ears. And then, just to finish this, I'm just going to extrude this back a little bit. 
it's going to give you a thinner part of the ears there I will go with that I want you to notice how every single polygon that I've created so far is all quads they're all four sided polygons the geometry is ever so simple there's not really hardly anything to it let's go back to the body and I'm going to continue exactly the same way I'm going to select the top part here we could extrude directly out for the arms we could do that but the type of character that I've got here or I want to work on I want to have a, have a bit of a shoulder area here so what shall I do let's have a look yeah we could go from here I quite like these little tiny paw type arms coming from there that'd be pretty nice okay I'm going to make sure if yours is not like this you right click and it should be on selected and ideally normal and it will have this handle pointing towards the normal it makes it a little bit easier for you to work on and I'm just going to scale this down kind of what he want his arms to be more forwards let's rotate that If I was to be rigging this I would definitely have the arms outright but I'm, I'm not going to be doing that so just bear with me with this I'm going to be working on this like this so so basic we're going to do one more extrude there and then one more extrude in which I'm going to expand where the hands are going to be this is so blocky it's unbelievable isn't it how blocky this looks doesn't look very nice but I'm hoping that you're going to get something from this video when I show you what happens when we start to subdivide it we we'll do mitten style hands for this so we've got these mitten style hands where am I going to take the thumb from you may be thinking I'm going to take the thumb from there but look at your hands your thumb is not coming out from the side of your hand it's coming from somewhere between so I'm going to create that somewhere between let's move that down very very basic okay that'll do that will do for what I'm after from this I'm going to go in there just do a couple of little tweaks you see where this thumb is here I'm just going to select this and pull this so it's peeking out just there I'm going to double click on this uh, again because I'm not going to be rigging it I'm just looking at the style of it I'll deal with the hands in a minute you'll see what I'm going to do in a minute so now I've got to this stage I'm going to go back to the head and I'm not going to do any more with the head at this stage now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the symmetry select both of these hit the C key or this button here the top left and it will basically collapse the geometry I'm just going to drag this out of these nulls and delete these and then I'm going to select both of these 
right click and we're going to basically combine them so I will select connect objects and delete so there's going to be no copies left behind this would be a good time now for us to select these polygons and these ones I'm just highlighting them selecting them so you can see that way I've planned it we can use the bridge tool to go between this so I'm going to right click select bridge we're going to go from there I deselect the previous tool that is and go bridge and hopefully it should go all the way down and connect okay and now with my lasso tool I'm just gonna just quickly go around the head move this a little bit closer to the body U and Y to expand that selection and I want it to be the object axis for this and just move this down you don't need a massive long head and neck for this it's, it's a cartoon style kind of mouse so what I want you to get from what I've done so far is is um, just to look how blocky this is it's not really anything fancy at all but it's very very easy to work on geometry of geometry like this it's so easy and I've kept all the polygons clean they're all clean Let's just pull that back. And that's like another extrusion. Keep that quite close. And you know what? I'm going to go back a couple of steps because um, I like to prepare the shape of the polygons before I start to extrude them. And I'll show you what I mean with, about this. And this is where you really 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 would um, be benefiting from a proper symmetry system inside Cinema 4D. It's a nightmare I find um, compared with other programs that I've used because this is when I don't want to have to start splitting my model in half. I want to do on a couple of tweaks here and there and I can't do that. I'm just going to make this a little bit more round. I often do this with limbs. If I'm going to be for instance pulling the um, the arms out of a shoulder area I'll make sure that the shoulder area is as round as I can get it or to the shape that I want the arms to come from that's more like it now I'm going to extrude once the closer the edges are between one edge and another the more of a crease we're going to create and I've done that intentionally and then I'm going to go a bit more larger like that in fact let's just double click on this scale this in a little bit more you could go ahead and create the mouth if you wanted but I'm going to keep this quite simple as you can see it's already pretty simple anyway now what you can do from here is you can just continue like this and keep on slicing and dicing which you can do or you can instantly turn this into a really nice organic shaped model and then start to reduce some of the edges that you don't want or even add to them. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to drag. Well, it's not the Alt key. Select that again. The Control key. I'm going to drag a copy and I'm going to just disable the view and render of that previous copy. And then we're going to go up to the top here where it says Mesh and the commands and in here we've got subdivide we want to click on this little cogwheel for the settings and I want to have a smooth subdivision level one and click OK what you have now is you've got a really clean polygon object that you can continue to work from you've got all of the loops in the right places you've got really clean geometry and in fact by working this way you can even add some triangles in the mesh when you're working from a low polygon model because those triangles automatically get turned into quads when you subdivide it once but if you work like I've been working then you won't even have that problem anyway so from this point 
you can put this into sculpting you can add the eyes to this you can really take this as far as you want but you can see here that we really really have got to a stage now that if we were to do some sculpting we can really transform the way this looks significantly so let's go to the sculpt area here and I'm just going to use this grab brush I'm going to make sure that symmetry is on um, I think this is the one that we want nope there we go just a word of note that if you find that when you're using the symmetry tool or shall I say these sculpting tools and when you grab the front some reason the front's not moving but the back is this is because the normals are facing the wrong direction on your model okay so I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm just making the most of the polygons I've just created now making this much more stylized let's just pull the back of the feet back a little bit like that let's go in there and make these feet a little bit more clubbed I'm not going to spend too long on this particular part I just want to kind of show you that we can work off something very very simple and get something not half bad at the end result without having to go into millions of polygons I'm not going to work on this much longer because I feel that I've kind of got across what I wanted to get across in this video those shoulders up a little bit something very basic for you to work off here very very basic there we go let's get that back a little bit I want to create a little bit more character to the ears so I'm just going to expand this and just there we go you've got a lot more geometry to work on but it's not a crazy amount of geometry you could quite happily rig this if it was more of a T pose or an A pose. I'm gonna go back to my standard viewport. I've now got enough polygons now for me to add a tail in there. I think typically I would go in there and just grab at least four polygons. But again, I would work off the basis of, let's go back into the sculpting here. I'll work on the basis that I would create an area here. I'll work on an area make it more round if round is what you're going to be extracting from it so that when you do extrude from this not extract when you extrude you can extrude something similar to the shape that you want I'll go with that let's go back to our modeling We drop the tool, we select these polygons. I'm going to just keep it really, really simple here. And Uh, 
that's great. Shrink this down a little bit. We're just going to extrude it. You take it as far as you want to take it. I'll just go for one more. a bit of a peek there at the tip there and let's just go back into the sculpting for a minute there we go just a, a little tail there that will do. How about we just go in there and just add some eyes, some very simple eyes in there. So just create a sphere. And standard one will do for us. Let's just rotate that 90 degrees. About 12 segments would do us for this. Okay. That's kind of where I want the eyes to be. About there. Let's go to our model. Again, this is where symmetry, I wouldn't want to have to keep on chopping my model in half. That's just to redirect. Just drop all my selection. Okay. Just seeing the area in which I could pull the eyes from. Good. Turn off this, the visibility for that sphere. Let me just tweak these polygons a little bit. I didn't have to take it to this point really, but I just wanted to show you how, you know, even though it's low polygon, you can still go in there and still add more polygons. Notice again that I'm trying to create a kind of sphere-like shape from something that initially isn't sphere-like. Let's just push that in.
running out of time here now, so I'm going to have to stop. I hope you get the idea. Or you can just simply just push those spheres back into the head. I've got yourself a little something quite basic there anyway. So that's just finish off by going U L going for the middle, deleting everything, assuming you got to the stage where you've kind of finished. So I'm going to call this done for this tutorial because I wanted to keep it quite simple and straightforward. But I hope you agree that this is pretty clean geometry. There's no n-gons, there's no triangles, and there is all polygons there. It's pretty clean and it started from such a low polygon object. And I just worked my way up to a point where I felt that I had enough geometry that I could subdivide it once. And then from there onwards, I just took it into the area of Cinema 4D where I've done some sculpting and some manipulating. And again, if this um, character had his arms out to the side or an A-pose, then if I wanted to, I could have added bones in there and he would have animated absolutely fine. So I'll leave this with you and hopefully you've learned something from this video. Something that is kind of on the more basic line of 3D modeling and that you don't have to go in there and add loads and loads of polygons because that can often make a mess. It can often create more problems in the long run. And just finally to finish this off to say that when it comes to the UV mapping stage, it's far more easier to create a UV map for this model than it would be if you had a model full of triangles, n-gons, and the polygon mesh was say double the um, density that this one is. So thanks again for watching and bye for now.